Hi, I'm Bruce from Just Ducky Artworks and creator of Dad's Castle Greeting Cards. I made a collection of all the eyes created for my tutorials on geometry node eyelids and eyelashes and procedural eyelids. And I made this collection available on both Blender Market as well as Gumroad. In this video, I'll show you how to operate and use the controls for all these eyes. So, let's get started. After you've downloaded the file and opened it, you'll see a list of all the eyes in our outliner here on the right. And you'll see the solid view of the eye here with not really anything to see or look at because these are procedural. So let's move over to the uh, viewport shading tab of material preview. And now we can see our, our eyes there. Move that over some. Okay, so let me hide this one and we'll now open up the very first eyeball, which is just our simple tune eyeball. It's the first version that I made. And to control it, if you click down on the Material tab, you'll see Simple Tune Eye v version 1. And where you see Base Color, or over here on this side, click on that little arrow there to expand the, the menu. And the top here is the Up and Down Control. And the bottom slider is Left and Right. The middle one does nothing. Okay, so that's how we basically operate the eyeball. Now you can uh, put drivers in this field to control it from a rig. So let's hide this one and open up our next one, which is the same simple eyeball. However, we've now added geometry node eyelids. So in addition to uh, the simple tune eye, you'll see a, a, a shader for the eyelids themselves, which is just you know adding some color to it. Eye controls are the same up and down here, and then on the bottom one, left and right. But now if we go to our modifier properties panel, you'll see the controls for the eyelids and the top lid control, up and down, sliding that left and right, bottom lid control, and then the top angle if we want a little bit of expression with our eyelids, okay? Now let's hide that one and go to the next. And this is a procedural eyelids rather than the geometry node eyelids. So if I highlight that object, you'll see that our all of our geometry node modifiers disappeared. Go down to the material tab, and now we have everything contained in one uh, shader, if you will, the tune eye and the, the procedural eyelids. Eye rotation is the same. Again, up and down there, left and right on the bottom. And then we'll have top lid open. And this opens the top lid, basically keeping it horizontal. Okay. Then on the bottom lid, down here, you move that up and down, the same thing. Now this top lid rotation, that gives us an effect similar to the geometry nodes, uh, eyelash, or eyelids rather. So when I move this, the lid opens, but it keeps the pivot point on the sides. So it gives a little bit of a curve to it. So it's a slightly different look, so, but very similar to the geometry node. And then you'll see the bottom lid rotation operates the same way. And then as you move your eye around and, and change it, you can also uh, adjust these here a little bit to um, and pupil size to get the, the, the same look after you've modified it. Okay, let's uh, hide that. And we're gonna click on Tune Stylized. The stylized one, the eye rotation, the same way. So there's nothing new there, but you just have some extra features about the eye color and, uh, and such and the bottom uh, lid and top lid rotation if we had eyelids there, but we don't on this particular one. So I'll hide that. Now we have stylized with procedural eyelids. Again, the exact same. The only difference here is that we're using a different shader for the eye. Okay, let's hide that one. And the same there, just a, a different eyeball, but the same controls. But now we come into the uh, geometry node one with eyelashes. And you'll note here that we have in our shader, it's, uh, let me highlight this. You'll see it's now Tune Eye version two. So this one, we use a pupil control to control it because it's a slightly different shader setup. So up here, you'll see a geometry node eyelid pupil control. So if we click on that object, let's bring that in a little bit. You can see by pressing G, that's how we move our eye by moving that control. So we can uh, put this control and drive it with a rig uh, to move the eyeball. 
Now if we click on the actual eye, you'll see we have again our same uh, uh, our same uh, pupil rotation, pupil location, uh, slightly different pupil size. Now we have a spot location to, to move the spot around and a spot rotation which doesn't really do anything since it's all just one white spot. However, now because these are geometry node eyelids, we'll click on our modifier properties panel. And now we see a, a lot of extra um, uh, properties in here because now this one has eyelashes. So this one operates the same as before, the other geometry node one, up and down for the upper eyelid, bottom eyelid, up and down. But now we have lash count, so how many lashes we have. We have lash length. We have yaw, which is a side to side move, movement. Curl, which is kind of curls it from the middle of the eyelash. We have rotate, which rotates it at the base of the eyelash. Thickness, is how thick we want the eyelashes. Base curve thickness, so that's where they're attached. So how thick we want that, okay? So quite a few features there. And then this one here is the uh, procedural eyelids, not rather than geometry nodes with eyelashes. So it's uh, slightly different. In this one, we still have the same eye controller, press G to move that around. But now we have two additional controllers, one top one here, G and that opens and uh, closes the top eyelid. Click on that empty, press G and that opens and closes the bottom one. Okay, and that's how we operate that one. And actually, I want to go back to this geometry node one just for a minute to show you a, a little trick here. So if we click on this one and it has this controller here, let's say we want a flat eyeball, you know, more oval, tunish uh, style. And we're going to take this eye and we're going to scale it in the y direction. So we're going to flatten this out a bit. And let's scale it in the, let's go front view with number one. And then scale in the x direction, give us sort of that oval look. And you see our eye is no longer really uh, centered well. And the, this thing here, the g, doesn't quite really work right. And so what we want to do in that case is we want to highlight our controller, click on our constraint tab down here, and then it's, you see the shrink wrap, we just want to get rid of that, okay? So now if we've gotten rid of that shrink wrap, we want to highlight this, G, Y, and bring it up close again to our eye, okay? So it's up nice and snug, and then we reapply the shrink wrap using the eyedropper to on that object and there we have it now we can move the eye again you see the eyes a little bigger now because we've kind of flattened it out so in this case we can go back to the eye properties and then we can uh, adjust some of the uh, the pupil size bring that down a bit and, uh, and and make that adjustment there and actually I can set the pupil size we'll start with the size factor of it that will reduce the uh, the highlight as well. There we go. And then we can move it around. So that's what we want to do if we're going to flatten the eye up a bit, make that slight adjustment. Next we'll show you how to use the uh, a simple rig I created. And this wanted to demonstrate how we use drivers on the eyes. So these are a couple of geometry node eyelids. And uh, you'll see it has the, the uh, the geometry node driver or drivers here attached and those are linked to the controller and also in the materials tab we see that our eye rotation has also been set up with a driver so to, to manipulate these we highlight our our uh, rig here and then go from object mode to pose mode and uh, first this big circle here G that moves the left eye Click on that one, G, moves the right eye. Click on the big goggle, that moves both eyes together. Click on that little box there, G, that moves the eyelid up and down for the right eye. That moves the eyelid up and down 
for the lower eyelid for the right eye. Over here on this one, G up and down for the eyelid for our left eye. Click on that one, same thing as you can guess. Okay. And then these two oblong ones, that moves them together in synchronous uh, with both between you know, both eyes left and right. And that is the bottom one. Okay. And so if you want to see how that works or how those are connected, uh, basically we take the um, the controller and its position, and I've copied the properties from these positions, and then pasted them as drivers onto the uh, going out of pose mode into the object mode, and pasted them into the various properties here. And then what you can do is you can see you can go into edit driver, and you can see how I scripted the expression and added. Um, some bits to uh, make it work correctly between a single eye and both eyes together. So when you look at that driver, you see this minus variable. That's another variable added so we can uh, uh, work in both the single eye moving as well as the uh, goggle moving both eyes together. And there you have it. And if you want to learn more about how to make them or rig them, you can take a look at some of my tutorials with the links below. Have a great day.